Hey everybody, this is RC here, just telling you, you know, when adventuring, you, you gotta be on the lookout for Knights of the Road. Because they're, they're, they're out there, man. You know, I, just to let you know. Uh, this is Knights of the Road. This is a pretty recent Steam release. It's five bucks on Steam. And as you can see, it is the, the ultimate 8-bit throwback game. It, it definitely feels and plays like a original NES game as well. Um, we're gonna move on here, show you a little bit. Uh, we got some enemies here. You play as this guy with a shield. Uh, you could jump on enemies and shield them like Scrooge McDuck from DuckTales. You go, oh, we gotta talk to this guy. The giant knight is so strong. He's fighting with all my strength, but beware of his spear. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I think we're about to go after uh, one of the first knights in the game here. Uh, we played about a half hour of this so far. A lot of the game is uh, strategically taking out enemies with your shield. By the way, I showed you that you could jump on enemies. You could also throw this, but it does uh, take away some of your magic meter up in the top left every time you do that. Um, from what I understand, obviously a half hour is pretty early in the game, but this game isn't super long. Uh, so far, we faced a big ogre to get a key, but we have not fought any of these like main knights, I guess, yet. So this is... We're bringing you in, like, right at the <laughs> the perfect time here. Now, who do we have here? Another brave fool? Let's see, which one will break first, your shield or my spear? I guess we'll find out, won't we? Okay, so you can hold it up. Oop! Okay, so we're going to jump on him. But we want to watch out for this spear. Are you going to stick me, or are you going to throw it? Okay, so he throws it. Got it. Then we bounce on his head. Okay, I think I think we got it here. He's going to do it a few times, jump back, throw. Okay, so it's going to be kind of the same thing each time. Is it going to be painful or re repetitive? Will he change it up? We'll see. It's pretty hard, though. He only hit me once, took away two hearts, right? He didn't hit me a second time, did he? Did I miss that? He was just super powerful. Okay, so this is going to take... <laughs> this might take a while. I guess I can go after him with the shield here and hit him again. I'm just trying not to drain my magic. I've kind of gotten into the, the habit of that. Oh, how did I miss it? Because uh, your magic goes down quickly. Before you know it, it's gone. Wow, that shield actually comes pretty quick. That guy. Yeah, so this guy's an actual boss. When I fought the ogre, the ogre didn't really do much. He just kind of walked and he jumped on his head. Jumping on the head in this... It's a big, it's a big deal. Knights of the Road. Jump on his head. There you go, you walked right into it. Boom. So I guess with this fight, they're not just testing your skill, they're testing your patience a little bit. <laughs> I think, uh, oh geez, hit him. We, we, we kind of got it down, you know? We, we got the pattern down. I think we're good. All right, so that is... I got an achievement for that one. One night less, so we took him out. He's gone. Oh, but we cannot destroy. There we go. And we get a doll? What, who is this? No, they're little fairies. Boy, are you here to rescue me? Thank you so much. Actually... We kind of hope to rob this fort, but there doesn't seem to be any gold here. Okay. Oh, so you're robbers. Well, kind of. Are you locked in the cage anyway? Who's t who's talking? I don't understand. The boy is the fairy? Who is Iwa? Is that the guy we're playing as? So he's a, he's a robber? I don't understand. And when they fill this cage up with fairies, they'll take them somewhere north. Okay. I see. Why don't we head north? What do you think? I'm sure we'll take a lot of booty on the way. Besides, I'd like to find out who and why need to hunt down the... Yeah. Why, why do they gotta hunt down the fairies? What's up with that? Well, I don't know. 
So, okay, so Iowa is the older fairy, there's the boy, and Fred is us. It was very confusing for a, t for a time here. All right, so we finished the first level. That was the first level. I wasn't sure how this game was actually going to pan out because they show you this map, but that first level, like, took me over a half hour to, to run through. So I was like, okay, is this just, like, one long, you know, 2D platformer? Like, where you just keep going and going, killing knights and... But no, it seems like there are actual levels. Okay, so we're treated to a new tile set here. A new biome. Always good. Gonna collect some gold. And some more gold. Uh, there are abilities that you can get. I always forget that uh, I can double jump as well. You can double jump. Um, but yeah, there, there are abilities you can unlock. We actually did not unlock one in the first area because I didn't have enough gold. It was a, a uh, I believe it was a, a recharge for your health. Oh, I bet I'm supposed to jump on his head and get up there somehow. Or maybe on the arrow? Okay, yep, that does work. Oh, but... Oh, there we go. I guess I didn't have to do that. Can I double jump up there? Oh, I can. Okay, so... <laughs> stupid. I was confused there because there's a part in the first level where you actually do have to jump off of uh, the uh, the enemy's projectiles to reach certain areas. Hey! Oi there! Alright, so we got a chest here. Okay, so we open that up. There is a lot of these... There we go. Kind of secret passage areas. Can we make this jump? It would seem. Okay, we got this here. Hey, buddy. What are you doing? I got a new truck to build. You got a new truck to build? Uh-huh. All right, cool. Well, hey, I'm going to I'm gonna finish this uh, game I'm on here real quick, and I'll come build with you, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. You go build, I'll be right with you. Recovery tow truck. All right, cool. Well, go build it. I'll be right with you, okay? stuff up. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> well, hey, let me. You go build it, and I'll be right with you. Okay. Have you seen it? Have I? No, I haven't seen it because you haven't built it yet. Have you? No, but have you seen one in real life? A recovery tow truck. Uh huh. I've seen tow trucks. I don't know if I've seen a recovery tow truck. Well, I saw it on my shows. You saw it on one of your shows. I like it. Um, it's probably time to put it in the dump because it looks so crusty and disgusting. <laughs> yeah, maybe it is time. All right, hey, you go build it, and I'll be with you in just a couple minutes, okay? Okay. Okay. So this guy says you fight using your shield as a throwing weapon, right? Uh huh. Go build. I'll be with you in a minute, okay? You're gonna watch me do this, okay? Can you get the chair? Yeah, we're not we're not gonna restart this here. We are. Uh, my son came in to talk to me as we're as we're recording. I thought I had a few minutes to do this. You know how it is. All right. You jump on the chair and you can sit with me, okay? And we'll talk about the game as we play here, okay? All right. That's a good level. It is a good level. All right. Take a seat. All right. So we're talking to this warrior guy. He says you fight using your shield as a throwing weapon, right? And he says, have you heard of a kickback technique yet? Let me explain. See that chest up there? Stand where I'm standing, throw your shield, and jump as high as you can. When returning, when returning to you, your shield breaks breaks such chests. By doing so, you can also attack enemies. Well, I could just I could just throw it through the rock, right? That's yeah. That's one of the other things I forgot. Is like when you jump, you actually can't throw it. So what is he saying? He's saying use it as a throwing weapon. How? Kickback technique. Stand where I'm standing, throw your shield. Oh, I see. Okay, I get you. So if we look this way and throw the shield, then we jump and it'll hit the chest through the. Okay, I get what he's saying. Look, there's another big fat ogre up there. Ah! Oh, throwing rocks. You see this? I know. There we go. We knocked him out. He kind of does have like a robot look, doesn't he? Weird blue ogre guy. Which guy? 
This guy I'm playing as? Yeah. I don't know if he's a friend of the ogres, but he is a friend. Here, watch. If you do this, this slide here, oop. watch. Woo, you can do a really long jump. Do you see that? I'll get rid of the arrow guy. So anyway, uh, this game has been fun so far. Like I said, it's incredibly 8-bit, incredibly nostalgia feeling. If you played games back in the day on the NES, you're going to really enjoy this one. It says, I remember your orange hat. You've unlocked that steel grating at the waterfall pretty easily, huh? In return, let me tell you about Alibaba's treasures. What Alibaba? Alibaba. Do you know about Alibaba? No. Alibaba had 40 thieves that used to steal things. And they had treasures. Forty. Forty. What? Yeah. At least that's how the story goes. So we're gonna try and get this treasure chest over here. By the way, if I haven't mentioned it, you can use your shield to go over spikes like we did earlier, and on the waterfall or on the water just like that. We're gonna see if we can jump up here. Hey, look at that! Kind of like a little secret area. You see that? Take this guy out. And he gave us some chicken. Okay, so this is where we got to do that little trick where we throw the shield and then we jump up. Right? Oh, I don't even know how we would hit that. The angle is too... a little too crazy. Alright, well, we'll go back down because there was a way to go back down. Let's go check this out. Oh, and we got a, a nice wizard. So you can save your game at these wizards if you give them a little bit of cash. So you give them some money. He's letting you know that trolls are the ones that keep keys in this game. All right, so we saved. We're going to move on here. Uh, ooh, bat. I did not see that bat. There we go. We got that guy. Okay. Oh, I don't even know how to get that chest. Again, they're going to be like, yeah, throw it, but I, I don't know. There is an achievement in the game that I saw for getting a lot of the chests or all the chests or something. I don't know. But if you're into collecting and trying to find everything, uh, you might... Oh, did you see that? The guy totally threw his arrow at a diagonal. Let's go Let's go explore this way. Oh, another chest. Hmm. That bat got me again. Why would he shoot us? He doesn't want us to win. So it's a great it's a great question. Why would he shoot us? Why is he such a jerk? We're gonna wait for this knight to uh, go back the other way before we jump over here because he got us before. Oh, that guy could throw both ways. Or yeah, he could shoot an arrow both ways. Wow. Okay, there's a bat. Okay, so I can get up here to these. Got some gold. Got some magic stuff. I was hoping to get some more chicken. Oh, look at this big ogre. So this is the one that I fought in the first level. I thought he was an actual boss, but he's just a... I guess he's just a reused enemy through the game. And they said that ogres have the keys. There we go. We got a key from him so we can go open that blue locked door that I saw earlier. I really need some health. They're being kind of stingy with the health. This part is a little kind of reminiscent of like Donkey Kong. Oh, you can't shield bash on the rocks. Ugh. Okay, well, we still got our key though. Let's go up and open that door and see what's behind there. And then after that, we're gonna go build that truck you wanna build. How's that sound? Big chest, what do we get? A ruby. Wow, that looks pricey. Good that we decided to check it. I guess that's all that's in here. All right. Well, that's part of the game, too, is trying to figure out where to go. It's got a little bit of that mysterious, like, where do I go? What do I do type of feel to it? Um, it's So far, it's been a lot of fun. I'd kind of like to see where this ends up. Uh, but for now, look, there's a pink wizard over there. I did not notice her earlier, probably because you were distracting me a little bit. But <laughs> what do you think? What do you think that pink wizard's going to say or do? Go away. Go away, man. Yeah, maybe. In this, in this political climate, maybe. That might be the case. Uh, but that is Knights of the Road. It's a pretty fun, like, throwback-style game. 2D platformer. Pretty cool. You know, I like playing as a little shield guy. It, uh, it Like an older game, it's also going to take a little bit of time to kind of get the feel for it. Um, for those of you who constantly play 
8-bit Nintendo games, you may be able to swim right into this and have no issue. But for me, it's been a while since I've actually jumped back and played some retro games. So for me, it was a, it took a little bit of time. But I think this is actually a pretty cool game. Worth uh, checking out for 5 bucks if this is your style, for sure. Uh, but there you go, guys. Knights of the Road. It's available on Steam now. 5 bucks. Check it out if this looks fun. And I'll see you all in the next one.